Uh, first off, we're going to uh, have the Cub Scouts, and then Annette is going to talk. And Marianne, you're going to talk about the park? Yes. And we have uh, three, four. Lo we got Rosie King. Four, in. yeah, four local musicians to treat you with tonight. So we have a good show plan. Uh, you guys, boys, you want to come up, and they get to go downstairs and watch watch the rest of the show be recorded. So they're getting beads tonight for their appearance here. Come on, you can introduce yourself. Come say your name. Right there's the yeah, mic. Their mic's right there. <laughs> <laughs> Just like you're talking to me. Talk to me and say, what's your name? What's your name? Caleb. Caleb, okay, and how long have you been a Cub Scout? Um, did you just join this year? Yes. Did you? Do Good. you like it? Yes. And what kind of things do you do? Uh, do you go camping? I Are you too little I for did. that yet, huh? I don't do camping yet. I Okay, and then who's your friend behind you? Okay. <laughs> He's getting really behind. <laughs> and what's your name? Trey. Trey. And how long have you been a Cub Scout? Mm -hmm. You don't know? Did you just join this year too? So you guys are all new then, right? You have oh, a bunch of new guys. Great. Okay. And what do you like about Cub Scout? Uh, you know what you like? You just like being a Cub Scout, huh? <laughs> That's cool. That's good. <laughs> okay, we have another one there. I can't really talk. Okay. Now, what's your name? Kyle. Kyle. Yeah. And how long have you been a Cub Scout? Just starting? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. so you're just a new farm troop. <laughs> and who is your den leader? My mom. Your mom? Was that your mom right there? Okay. And what's your mom's name? Chastity. Chastity? Good. And that's a good job for moms to have, isn't it? It's fun playing with all you young guys and making you work, huh? And what are you going to do when you leave here? You going downstairs and watch how it works? Good. You get to learn about recording, right? You and get to watch it. <laughs> and you get a bead for doing that? Do you? Oh. I think How many so. beads do you have? Six. Six of them? Wow. wow. You're really working. Three orange, three white. Okay, and what are your orange ones for? Do you remember orange how you got your orange ones? Some um, den activities. Den activities. Uh, I can't say it right. Okay. <laughs> For family activities. That's okay. Family activity activities. Activities, huh? Okay. I'm white. What's That's... white for? I, said, I just said it. He just oh. said it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think he was talking about the orange ones. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, well, you guys can go downstairs and watch how Mr. Don... How he records this show, okay? What do you boys say? Thank you. You are welcome. <laughs> you have a good time down there, okay? Thank you for having us. You well, are thank welcome. Thank you for being Glad here. You came. And good luck with your troop. Yeah. Thank you. Awesome. You'll enjoy it, I know. Okay, and now we have uh, Annette Roth, and she's going to tell us a little bit of update on our bad weather we had last weekend and what we're pushing that weather away this weekend, aren't we, hopefully? We're hopefully pushing the weather away. That's everyone's hope, okay? Right. <laughs> uh, we have really worked uh, quite hard. I uh, had a lot of tremendous results and a lot of positive results. Uh, Sandra Cabot, I do want to praise her on the video here uh, because I really feel that she deserves to be praised. She's really helped me a tremendous amount. And uh, my contemporary, Judy Gustafson, also. Uh, they have both worked so hard to help me get this off the ground. Uh, just the one thing, another thing I will like to praise is all the advertisers that we have been advertising with, including our local media, uh, Toby Carrick at the St. Genevieve Herald, uh, Don Pritchard with KSGM. Uh, we, they have gone out on a limb for us. And the, our neighbors 
uh, we've gotten two calls yesterday, one from the call in St. Louis and one from the Southern that are running the ad this week free. Wait, isn't that great? Mm -hmm. And we've had three other newspapers that are one running entire one quarter page articles, which include the new itinerary. So, uh, and then another two of them have put them on their uh, links to uh, events calendars for this week also and given oh, us that. that's great. Maybe we'll get a crowd here. Uh, hopefully, if yeah. the weather is yeah, uh, anticipated. Nice. My husband said to tell you to not let it rain. I know. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> that's funny, yeah. No, so your husband's what, in the prairie, yeah. too. <laughs> so what else going on this weekend? Uh, we will, of course, uh, have a lot of our traditions, uh, actually most of our traditions, except, of course, the municipal band will not be there this weekend, unfortunately. He could not reschedule. Uh, they wanted to do it last weekend, and then I think they lost half their band because of the weather. Oh they lived out in the country. Uh, other than that, uh, we have almost everything else. Uh, we'll have the La Croconoles at the Mammy Shaw house, or no, is it the Mammy Shaw, isn't it? Uh, the Felix Valley. Felix Valley, yes. Valley. Um, yes, okay. They're, of course, a tradition every year, 10 o'clock, free while they last. The parade, of course. Um, I mean, still having more people call me to see if they can be in the parade. Oh, well, that's great. So the parade's going to be, if the weather holds up, it will be spectacular as usual. I have over, over 100 entries. Oh, well, that's great. And that are still showing up at this point, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, after the parade, we will have, the Lions Park will be open, and Santa and Mrs. Claus will be there. Uh, they, unfortunately, we will not have the carriage rides. They have uh, already promised them to the uh, fair park, I believe. And, uh, so oh, okay. that's quite all right. We still have Santa and Mrs. Claus. We have the free hot dogs for children under 12, as usual. Uh, we will have the Retro Girls performing at 12 noon at the Oris. Uh, which was a treat. And uh, at 1 o'clock, we will have Academy Hill at the Remnant Church, and again at 2 o'clock, two concerts. And at the Lutheran Church, we will have the Southeast Missouri uh, University String Ensemble doing Austro German music. Two concerts, one, and then again at two. That's Al great. Al Kaiser will uh, perform uh, at 3 o'clock at the Catholic Church doing Baroque up to 20th century classical music. Uh, I saw his performance last week. It's brilliant, and it is a must-do. And he's our very own brilliant man in this town. Yes, uh, he is. He is, very and he talented. offers so much. Uh, at 3 o'clock, Bob Euler will be lecturing on uh, how to do a kissing ball. Now, where is he going? He is going to be at the Miami Shaw House Miami also. Shaw. And then at 4 o'clock, he does a historical lecture, and I've seen this lecture. And I plan to go to his kissing ball lecture also. It's a demonstration, actually. Uh, it's a historical lecture on uh, historical St. Genevieve, uh, what it was like in Christmas, French Christmas in 1735, and then again what it was like in German Christmas in about 1830. And it's really interesting, and he it's our, about so our culture. He's very knowledgeable, mm -hmm. and I found it, I, that I learned from uh, his lecture. I thought it was very entertaining. We have uh, several other things going on also. Uh, at 4 o'clock, uh, the Gibord Valley will be opening up for their reception. And we'll have uh, elegant hors d'oeuvres. Uh, we will have a Baroque concert by Megan Thompson. She's coming up again from, uh, actually, Megan now has progressed. She's been with us for six years now. Mm -hmm. And uh, she was with us as a SEMO undergraduate and, again, as an SIU master's student. And uh, now she's the orchestra director down in Sykeston. And she plans to come up every year. Well, well because of her, we got a string ensemble. So oh. <laughs> anyway, because Lindenwood couldn't get it together. Right. They call, And they did apologize, by the way. And their dean canceled last week. And so uh, and they, he did try to get me the string ensemble, but the students have all gone home. So uh, she is familiar with the community down there. And so she pulled one together. And so we will have our Southeast Missouri State University string ensemble. Oh, that's great. Uh, what else is going on? Oh, at 4 o'clock, she'll be doing Baroque music at the Gibord Valley House, uh, along with their hors d'oeuvres. At 4 o'clock, the Art Guild will have their reception. Uh, we'll have our Kurt Lewis. He's a local talent here doing Cajun music. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, my apology to him, bluegrass music. Uh, and at uh, 6 o'clock, we'll have the tree trimming. Uh, Rosie Huey will be our soloist. Frank Rolfe will be our MC. Uh, what else is going on? Six, oh, the v La Vue Noel will be at the Bull Duke House. We have a lot of things going on this weekend. Sunday uh, at the 12.15, no, 12.30 at the uh, Welcome Center, uh, we will have another violinist there, a new violinist. I haven't met this one yet, but she's supposedly quite talented doing uh, 
impressionistic, an impressionistic concert. Impressionistic periods, you know, in the late 1800s. Uh, and then also at 1.30, one concert only, the Remnant Church will be doing their contemporary gospel concert. And that's really excellent. I saw that last year, and again, that is a must-do also. So that'll be pretty much time where everybody can pop in for a little while at everything. Probably. You can pop in a little while at everything. Uh, it's going to be a very elegant event. We actually have most of the people coming back, I, we, so we've been very fortunate uh, with the unfortunate situation we had last week. <laughs> but it's still going to be fun and exciting, and the thing that I found fortunate was how many people have come through and tried to help us. Uh, I mean, and in adjacent towns, that's the thing that I found amazing, that they really want this event to go, because they find it now a destination point for many bi-state people, and they are really promoting it. Mm -hmm. So hopefully if the weather holds up, that's great. But if it doesn't, we've got some new friends. That's right. <laughs> and there's always next year. There's always next year. We already have that planned already. Uh, and so we have, I won't talk about that this year, but uh, we plan these a year in advance. So this actually is a real challenge because this has been planned for a year. And we have worked uh, diligently almost every day since September and then at least several times a month throughout the year working with the various musicians keeping in contact with them making sure your relationships are open etc but as again we have new friends in the bi-state area so we have to look at the bright side of everything right. <laughs> so. yeah. and then from there at noon they can go to the park and Oh, yes, and the park is open also, and that will be a new venue for us this year. Uh, I don't know a lot about what's going on there. I know that Mary Ann will be informing us more about that, but I think it sounds quite lovely, and it will fit, uh, it's going to be a whole different market, you know, from what the Christmas festival is catering to, but it's going to be equally wonderful and will offer a lot, actually. Mm -hmm. They will, quite frankly, complement each other on a very high level. Yes. They've got, they've got quite a bit planned. They start at 12 o'clock and go to 6. And they have, uh, they have uh, set up a bunch of children's games that they can participate in. Santa Claus will be there. They have the petting zoo. And they will have um, vendors. And they have uh, the one building wrapped and it'll be warm. And they have uh, events on the stage. And they have uh, also, um, they've got the carriage rides. It's just a family-oriented thing, and this is their first year, so hopefully it'll go over really good. And it sounds like they've got an enormous six hours. They've got it packed. <laughs> and they've oh, got it a lot wonderful. of booths where there'll be yes, there's things lots of for booths. sale. Yeah. There'll be for things sale. for sale, and there'll be uh, refreshments and things, but the kids will have a big time up there, too. Yeah. Okay. Well, good luck to everyone. I hope uh, all the events go over well because they complement each other. And like I they said, do. we've got new friends. So right. <laughs> we've got to go on the and bright side of everything. we need to call the pink sisters and yeah. have them start praying for good weather. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I already have. <laughs> so keep up. <laughs> so they will have, it'll be nice. It'll really be great up there, too. It's going to be wonderful. The whole weekend is going to be really special, wholesome and entertainment for everyone. I firmly believe that. I think everyone will have a lovely, enjoyable time. Yeah. Well, they'll have the park. All, everything will be in there. There's a lot of things going on up there. Every building has something in it, so. Yeah. Sounds it's going wonderful. It's great. Okay. Yeah. And okay. they'll have Santa Claus up there, too. Great. And he'll be giving out gifts, so. Okay, okay well, Annette, thank you for coming and thank updating you. everybody on what going to happen this weekend? Oh, thanks. Yeah. It'll yeah. be wonderful, and uh, everything will be wonderful. Yeah. Both events will. will be compatible and new friends. So right. <laughs> thank you very much, and have a good evening. Well, thank you're you. welcome. Thanks a lot for coming. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, this is fun. Yeah. We, had, we are blessed. We've got all our local musicians. Yeah. Okay, which one of you decided you're going to go yeah. first? Introduce yourself. Go first. No, you guys go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> they, know, they know who I am. <laughs> There's Jim. If you want to sit and tell us about a little bit about you, or if you want to stand back there and just say a little bit about what you, how you got together, and then you can interchange for a little bit. Okay, well, uh, I'm Jan Grime, and Shelly Colburn, and Ann Polk, and uh, we are Retro Girls. Uh, we've been playing music together probably about 10 years. 
and uh, we've truly enjoyed it. We've always been involved in music, and um, about 10 years ago, we got the idea that maybe we should just get out there and have a little fun, and so that's what we do. We've played at wineries, we've played lots of places um, along the way, um, and we've also had individual music, we've played at weddings, we, we do pretty much the circuit around of all the different things that go on. And um, so we truly enjoy what we do, and so it's just a chance for us to kind of um, get together and have a little fun. Well, that's great. Yep. Michelle? So anyway, if somebody wants to book you, all they need to do is call them. Right? That's right. Yeah. Okay. We're, we're out there and we're available. Okay. <laughs> And so, would you like to entertain sure. people a little bit? Okay. We've got some Christmas songs we'd like to do for you tonight. Okay. headed to Louisiana and the other one I he's up north so um, I'm on my own tonight.
Oh my goodness. <laughs> Where are you going to do for I don't know. <laughs> I'll have a blue Christmas without you. I'll be so blue thinking about you. Christmas tree won't be the thing, dear. If you're not here with me, I'll have a blue Christmas. That's certain. And when those blue hearts start hurting. Christmas tree won't be the thing, dear. If you're not here with me, I'll have a blue Christmas. That's certain. And when those blue eyes start hurting. every time I do this show. <laughs> I had to do this by myself last year, if you remember. And I was sick. We had a ball last year, though. You guys should have been here. You should have invited us. Well, if we didn't do it, we would have. We're going to do this again. All right. Okay, let's hear from Jack and Lynn. Hi, I'm Lynn Rose Terry. And I'm Jack Kenning. And uh, we we're are two thirds of we're two thirds of Lynn Rose Terry and friends. <laughs> we're missing Jen Wood. Jen plays percussion for us. Um, she is out of state with her job today, and uh, so she couldn't be with us this evening. But um, like Jan and all the girls, we we play a lot of wineries, um, some private parties, a lot of different venues. I still sing for weddings, and now. Jack, is, we've, we've started uh, playing some weddings together sometimes in, in different venues, so we just like to have fun, too. This is, uh, this is kind of what it's all about. So we'll, we'll do a few Christmas songs for you, too. We'll start out with one. It's frightful, but the fire is so delightful. Since we know place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Oh, it doesn't show signs of stopping, and brought some corn for popping. The lights will turn way down low. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. When we finally kiss goodnight, how I'll hate going out in the storm. But if you really hold me tight, all the way home I'll be warm. The fire is slowly dying, and my dear, we're still goodbye. But as long as you love me so, let us know, let us know, let us know. Kiss goodnight, how I hate going out in the 
the star. But if you really hold me tight, oh, all the way home I'll be warm. The fire is slowly dying, and my dear, we're still goodbye. But as long as you love me so, let us know, let us know, let us know. Let us know, let us know, let us know. Let us know, let us know. Lose though. <laughs> <laughs> I promise I won't dance. Last year, Marianne was up behind the chair dancing away. <laughs> I didn't think anybody could see me, but you still Don got that little Santa Claus yet? <laughs> what? You got that little Santa Claus that dances? Marianne does. But unfortunately, yes, she, she had an operation this morning. So. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. yeah, she couldn't make it. Anyway, okay. Okay, ready to go. We are going to do our next selection here. Christmas makes you feel emotional. It may bring parties or thoughts devotional. Whatever happens or what may be, here's what Christmas means to me. City sidewalks, busy sidewalks, dressed in holiday style. In the air there's a feeling of Christmas.
this song. Sure. I think what Kia did. I love a home for Christmas. guys were going to do that. Oh, very good. Yeah. And also, will you do me another great big favor? Uh, the, the big sale is Friday out at Country Mart for the Women's Club. So it was rescheduled from the show last week. So 
We're so it's have it this Friday. And it's not at Citizens, it's out at Country Mart? Yeah, it's out at Country Mart. The one at Citizens was for the hospital. The oh, the one oops. At, uh, at Country Mart is for Women's, women's Club. And also, are they going to have this show up at the uh, Akron Friday? Friday They're night? supposed to, yeah. Jan's saying yes. It? Jan's saying yes. Oh, okay. All right. I just wanted to check because I didn't hear Annette say anything about it, and I thought, well, maybe they canceled it. So, okay. Thank you, and you girls are wonderful. <laughs> and guys. <laughs> and guys. <laughs> <laughs> and guys. <laughs> I'll be back the next show. So, see you guys then. Y'all have a Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> she said she was going to listen. <laughs> so she's a listener. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's Lynn and Jack got to offer? All right, this little song, the, the um, retro girls that you sang about the silver bells and all the snow and, and then um, Rosie about Santa Claus coming to town and Jim that he's going to be home for Christmas. And, <laughs> And uh, we're going to make a, a wish to Santa Claus. This little song was, Jack discovered it probably in the early 80s. It was on a Barbara Mandrell CD, and uh, we thought it was kind of fun. So here we go. We've been doing it ever since. We've <laughs> been doing it ever since. We called Santa Bring My Baby Home.
ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Little different twist on it there. That's pretty good. That's fun.
do great together. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's my turn, I guess. You're yours? You're okay. Up. Back when I was a kid, about 15 years old, I had the privilege of meeting a guy by the name of Johnny Harton. And Johnny gave me this record when I was 15 years old, before he got killed. It's the only Christmas song he ever put out, called They Shined Up Rudolph's Nose. Rudolph's nose was frosty, I didn't give much light. Santa had his lips shining up so bright. Prancer and the others was dancing to and fro. Now that Christmas time is here, they shined up Rudolph's nose. Christmas time is coming through winter wonderland. Everyone is happy, even Frosty the old snowman. Just like a star It will help you find him No matter where you are It's the only one he ever had out because he had, you know, remember when he had Battle of New Orleans yeah. and Lunarta, Alaska? That Christmas he made this record. And I was in Nashville, me and Jimmy Booger. I was 15, Jimmy's about 16. And Vernon Geck, we went down with him to a convention for KSGM a little bit, where Don Pritchard works. And we was like uh, acting DJs because they couldn't send theirs down, you know. And uh, I met Conway Twitty, and he gave me a record album and autographed it for me. And I still own it to this good day. And it was, it was, it was his first rock and roll album. And I met uh, Johnny Harden, he gave me his singles. I come back with a ton of records from different art. I met Hank Snow, I met Ernest Tubb. I met all them old guys, Ray Price, little Jimmy Dickens. I was a kid, you know. I met Patsy Cline before she died. And it, it was sort of a privilege for a kid 15 years old, you know. And it just made you want to get into business more after you met him, you know. And that's how I got around the business so much, you know. I did a lot of traveling back in the early, late six, early 60s, I traveled. And uh, I had to come back home because my father was sick, but, and I ended up staying back home. But I traveled quite a bit across the United States and travel with different groups. In fact, the group I, one of the groups I traveled with ended up be Conway Twitty's main band that he had, they had all these hit records and everything. But I, I've been around the country and I've enjoyed it. I'm getting old, you know, so you have to bear with me, my boy. At this time of the year, my voice goes because I've sang so much around, you know, and I've slowed down a lot and uh, I don't walk like I used to and stuff, but I'm still out doing it because I enjoy it. And I got a son who plays drums for me, and that that's that's a good feeling to have your own son sitting behind you, you know. So uh, that's about what I do. And I do little private parties. I do a few things here and there. I don't travel too far away like I used to, but 
I still do it. <laughs> Call me. I got a new phone number. It's 573-883-6612. I changed my number. That hurts you, believe it or not. It, it hurts you for your bookings. Because I had this old number for 30 years, you know. But I changed it in my cell phone. I quit. I threw my inside phone out. <laughs> your turn, Rogue. My son had a great joy playing with you at one time. Yeah, I know you do. You have good. You got one of my records yet? She can't find. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll tell you what. That record I made in 1962. Boy here in town wrote the flip side. Larry Otti, and he he passed away. And uh, it's on YouTube right now. They're playing it. They don't have a picture of I me, mean, but they're playing it on YouTube. It's had over six thousand spins already. Oh my gosh! But they're selling it on the internet. People's got copies of it. For hundred bucks a piece. Oh my! And I only sold them for two bucks a piece. <laughs> I know it wasn't very expensive. <laughs> That's unreal. You got to moody here. <laughs> uh, a lot of this goes on in the Hall of Fame, you know. That's what it's all about. Well, good evening, Pat. How are you? Fine. I'm just calling to say hi to all my friends there and thank them for all the great music. <laughs> it's a beautiful show you're having tonight. I really like it. Thank you. Well, thank okay. you. Merry Christmas. Bye-bye. Merry Christmas to you, Pat. Merry Christmas. Thanks for calling. She's our faithful. Yes, she calls faithful. all the time. Those are, those are great stories, Jim. I'd love to hear more of those stories and all of the things that you did. Lynn and her husband used to come here and we play a lot. Oh, yes, we out, did. Out in the lead belt, different places. Mm -hmm. Always got her up to sing because I always enjoyed her singing. I got Rosie up when she's about that tall. <laughs> At the Genevieve Tavern, her dad says, would you let Rosie say? I said, sure, bring her up here. <laughs> she used to crank them out, but she wasn't that tall. <laughs> That's great. Oh, gosh, yeah. Well, this next song that we're going to do, um, it was originally done, I think, well, maybe originally, or at least one of them was by Mr. Dean Martin and a, and a female vocalist. And then this version was done by Barry Manilow and K.T. Osler. Baby, it's cold outside. Boy, is it ever. <laughs> Boy, you got that one right. <laughs> you got that right. I really can't stay. Baby, it's cold outside. I've got to go away. Baby, it's cold outside. This evening has been Been hoping that you'd drop so in very nice I'll hold your hands there just like My mother will start to Beautiful, but you hurry My father will be pacing the floor Listen to that fireplace roll So roll. really, I'd better scurry Beautiful, please don't hurry Or maybe just a half a drink Put some records on while I pull The neighbors might think Baby, it's bad out there Ooh, hey, what's in this drink? No cabs to be had out there I wish I knew how Your eyes are like starlight to now To break the spell I'll take your hat Your hair looks swell I ought to say no, no, Mind sir. if I move in closer I'm gonna say that I tried What's the sense of hurting my pride? I really can't stay Baby, don't hold out Ah, oh, but it's cold outside I simply must go But baby, it's cold outside The answer is no Baby, it's cold out there The welcome has been how lucky that you so dropped in nice and warm. Look out the window at that star My sister will be suspicious Gosh, your lips look delicious My brother will be there at the door Waves upon a tropical shore My maiden's aunt's mind is vicious Gosh, your lips are delicious Oh, maybe just a half a drink more Never seen a blizzard before I gotta get home but baby, you'll freeze out there. Well then baby, would you lend me your coat? It's up to your knees out there. You've really been grand. I feel when you touch my Why hand. Why can't you see? How can you do this thing to There's me? There's bound to be talk to me. Think of my lifelong sorrow. At least there'll be plenty and plenty. If you caught pneumonia and I died. I really can't stay. Get over that old 
cold out Oh, but it's cold outside
halls with boughs of holly rocking around. Christmas tree, have a happy holiday. Thank you. 
snow season is all about. One called Oh Holy Night.
song yeah. uh, was written by John Lennon in 1969, and it is our version of Happy Christmas, War is Over.
Guess it's me. Put off the red nose reindeer. Are you enjoying the show? I'm enjoying the music very much. I turned it on when uh, they were singing Silent Night and now Rudolph, and I'm enjoying it very much. Okay, well, thank you very much for calling in. You're welcome. Okay. Merry Christmas to all. And Merry Christmas. <laughs> Thanks, Virginia. You're welcome. Uh -huh. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, we'll end the program with Lynn and Jack. Okay. And then we'll, go, we'll all do one together. Okay. When we're finished with this one. Yeah, it'll be fine. This one is called What Do You Do at New Year's Eve?
so songs are going to do this together. Okay? Okay. What key do we got? E doing, yeah. Is that too high? G. Right in G. G. Okay. G. Try it now. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings to you, wherever you are. Good tidings for Christmas and a Happy New Year. That was very good. That's we our show really for enjoyed week. it. And that's our show for tonight. Everybody go to St. Jen uh, downtown and enjoy everything that's there at the park, downtown, and, and the everywhere. Good night. And the Christmas night. Good night. I think we're going.